Hello everybody, it's UFO Jane, and I am so happy to have you here with me this afternoon. I just had to hop on here to YouTube and react to, break down the recent UFO news that everybody is tweeting about, talking about. So if you don't already know, Senator Kristen Gillibrand, I don't know how to pronounce that, I did not research that, my bad. Kirsten Gillibrand. Um, Senator Kristen. Kirsten Gillibrand. She recently proposed an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act of fiscal year 2022. It looks like a pretty standard bill to me that is about to pass in the House. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not a political commentator. The amendment she's proposing, it, it's a pretty big deal. And so I want to talk to you about it. Before I do, though, please remember, guys, if you haven't already, to subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn on notifications. I go live from time to time. And if you like this video, well, like the video and comment and share it. It is all so appreciated. All right, so um, I'm still on my PJs because I have all morning. I've just been reading and rereading this amendment and trying to understand it for you guys. And really, that's not an excuse because it's noon and I also watched... Uh, other totally unrelated YouTube videos this morning. So that said, though, let's get into it. So essentially, this senator is proposing an official government office to study, report on, learn about UAP, UFOs. So that includes objects that are in the air, but also submerged and transmedium. So there's 13 distinct sections in this amendment, and I'm not going to go into all the detail here. I probably will go more in depth in an upcoming article and on the Unidentified Celebrity Review YouTube channel. But for this video, let's just do a quick summary. So. Here we go. A, the establishment of Anomaly Surveillance and Resolution Office, so the ASRO. We've got a new acronym, guys. This would replace uh, the Unidentified Aerial Task Force, an aid tip that came before it. B, the facilitation of reporting and data sharing. C, Section L is probably the juiciest. It calls for an aerial and transmedium phenomena advisory committee, which would have 20 members coming from National Astronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, the Federal Aviation Administration, the National Academy of Sciences, the National Academy of Engineering, the National Academy of Medicine, the Galileo Project, which Lou Elizondo and Christopher Mellon just joined. In the last section, section M, it's definitions, and this is actually what led me to make this video. So you can find the phrase intelligence community three times in this amendment. So the first time it's in section I, it says use of authorized and appropriated funds the obtaining and analysis of data relating to unidentified aerial phenomenon is a legitimate use of funds authorized and appropriated to department and elements of the intelligence community. And also in section C, it's mentioned two times. So section C is about the duties of this new UAP office, which would include developing procedures to synchronize and standardize the collection, reporting, and analysis of incidents, including adverse physiological effects regarding unidentified aerial phenomenon across the department and intelligence community. Another duty includes developing processes and procedures to ensure that such incidents from each component of the department and each element of the intelligence community are reported and incorporated in a centralized repository. So when I was reading this amendment, my spidey senses were definitely going off. And sure enough, in the definition section, we hear more about it. So the meaning for the term intelligence community is given in section three of the National Security Act of 1947. Okay guys, you following me? So the National Security Act of 1947 was a law that restructured U.S. military and intelligence agencies after World War II and, well, after Roswell. And actually, this law took effect in September 1947, just a few months after Roswell. Now, the main product of this act was the National Military Establishment, or NME, which ended up creating the U.S. Air Force and the National Security Council. Oh, and 
the CIA. So when the June government UAP report came out, I questioned how much real UFO data we were getting because there were a number of agencies that were not included in it, namely the CIA, which we know investigated UFOs and which was established in 1947, the year of Roswell. Well, here we have Senator Kristen Gillibrand. Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, bringing to task the CIA here and asking for a some degree of UFO transparency. Now let's dig in those, because really what does intelligence community mean? So I looked up the National Security Act of 1947. If we go to section three, the term intelligence community includes the following, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, the Central Intelligence Agency, the National Security Agency, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the National Reconnaissance Office, and then more. Could we actually be getting closer to disclosure of the Roswell files? I want to call out something interesting in the report. So if you remember Section C, where it talks about the duties of this office, it mentions the physiological effects of UAP. Another link is that in the original House Bill, Bill 4350, National Defense Authorization Act, they also refer to something like this. There's a whole section calling for a cross-functional team for emerging threat related to anomalous health incidents. So this is to ensure that individuals affected by anomalous health incidents receive timely and comprehensive health care and treatment. I have always thought about the Cash Landrum incident in Texas here in the 1980s where witnesses saw a massive unidentified craft and experienced some pretty alarming symptoms that were similar to radiation, like hair falling out and nausea and skin blisters. If the Cash Landrum incident were to happen in 2022, let's say in a future world where this bill has been passed, would they have been able to get help from the government? So what do you think about this recent amendment that's been proposed? Do you think that it will pass? Do you think that we are taking a step closer toward disclosure? Or is there something darker here going on? Let me know what you think about all of this, any of this in the comments. And like I said, guys, subscribe, turn on notifications, like this video. I've got a lot coming, so you don't want to miss out.